Hi, so today we are trying the new Starbucks creamy vanilla uh, capsule for Nespresso machine. So Lithi also came out with a caramel, caramel version if I'm not mistaken, but I'm a vanilla kind of person and I'm so curious to try this one. So let's have a first impression taste test together. Intensity, it's a blonde roast. It's kind of similar to the Starbucks blonde roast, which is a number six intensity this is not my favorite i really don't like the taste of this it, it tastes it has a fake sweetness uh, to it so i'm hoping that this one will be better but um if we are looking at the serving suggestions they recommend an espresso and a lungo while the blonde roast from starbucks recommends a ristretto or espresso so it means i'm expecting that this one should be more darker or more intense kind of flavor that it can also be enjoyed as a long shot. Sweet vanilla and biscuit notes. It's so simple, so delicious. Sit back and savor this Starbucks blonde roast coffee flavored with creamy vanilla and biscuit notes. Enjoy with or without milk for a sweet and delightful cup. So we're gonna try it black and we're also gonna make an iced vanilla latte uh, by adding some almond milk and some syrup. So follow me for the taste test. vanilla um, capsule. I pulled two shots of espresso and you can see it has um, it has a vanilla like <laughs> smell. Um, the smell is a bit strong. Um, it kind of smells like the Nescafe vanilla tree in one or it, it smells like an instant type of coffee definitely for sure. Uh, not my favorite smell. If I would smell this, I would think that it's, yeah, it comes from an instant, instant coffee. Um, it has a layer of uh, crema, which is not too thick. It's, yeah, it's expected from a milder roast. Um, but let's see how it tastes. Mm. The first sip is definitely strong. Um, it doesn't taste anything like the Starbucks blonde roast, which it's a good thing. <laughs> That's the good thing. The bad thing is that the essence is so, so strong that you can't really taste any notes in the coffee. Yeah, it's really strong and bitter and I would say it's not, not very pleasant um, as an espresso. So you just get that... Um, flavored vanilla uh, scent and then it's just a sharp bitterness but there's nothing else there so um, let's make this as an iced vanilla latte which I'm hoping this will taste good as I think I like it this way. So, so far, I think it's really close to what you get uh, in store from your Starbucks uh, vanilla latte. I think it's really good with ice, milk and sweetener on its own. I don't recommend it. I think the essence is a bit too overpowering um, and it just has an, a bitterness that yeah, lacks character in a cup of co hot coffee. But I, this one is a delight. To go as far to say as it's much better than the Nespresso vanilla <laughs> coffee pot. It's like really sweet, aromatic vanilla uh, scent. 
it's something I would like to drink ice. So, cheers. <laughs>